ఐ యామ్ డాక్టర్ రమేష్ పరిమి సర్జికల్ ఆంకాలజిస్ట్ ఫేస్ హాస్పిటల్ మాదాపూర్ హైటెక్ సిటీ హైదరాబాద్ నా టుడే ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు షేర్ ది సినారియో ఆఫ్ బ్రెస్ట్ క్యాన్సర్ విత్ యూ ఆల్ యునో బ్రెస్ట్ క్యాన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఏ రియలీ సివియర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఫ్రమ్ ది నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ కేసెస్ వీ ఆర్ సీయింగ్ బట్ ఆల్సో ఫ్రమ్ ది ఇంటెన్సిటీ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ what i mean is the death rate we see in breast cancer patients you know that the population of india is about 140 crores so the population of india being 140 crores nearly 66 crore or uh, females so about 66 crore females are there in india who can be afflicted with this dreadful disease breast cancer and uh, as per the statistics of various cancer registries like ahmedabad regional cancer center adyar cancer center all india institute then rajiv gandhi cancer center so many cancer hospitals especially state run hospitals are there in various states in india the total number of cases we have seen is really mind boggling out of the 1.6 million that is uh, 16 lakh uh, total number of cancer cases 1 lakh 68000 1 lakh 68000 are the best cancers in one year this is of course 2018 statistics so in india in 2018 we find uh, rather 1 lakh 68000 uh, cases of breast cancer which is quite high and uh, 87000 nearly of them have died so in a year we have seen 1 lakh 62000 new cases in the same year about 87000 females have died of this cancer so breast cancer accounts for nearly 17% of all the cancers in one in one registry and about 27% of all cases of cancer in the females in another registry so it's quite a high percentage according to the census and epidemiological statistics as well having said that uh but one correction you have to remember the 87000 who died i do not mean that out of the 168 they died no if the new cases are 168 the total number of died include not only the new cases diagnosed in that year a very few and also the old cases which are already there suffering from so this is how it is like so 100 i mean 160000 that is 168000 as new cases about 87000 are the deaths because of breast cancer in one year and an average in india so this is uh, uh, to impress upon you how severe and uh, how great the problem is something has to be done don't you think about this well for statistical and epidemiological purpose we have divided like globally also actually these cancer patients are breast into three categories age wise chronological age wise though menstrual age is also important which influences the outcome of the cancer in the female and uh, 25 to 49 is one age group then uh, 49 that is 50 to 70 69 is another age group and 70 plus and all third group we made and we found about 62000 of cases uh, cancer new cases in this age group 25 to 49 and about 70000 in the age group 49 to 69 40 to 69 i mean 40 to 69 age group and about 35000 cases after the age of 70 and nearly 23% of the earlier group that is smallest group 25 to 40 year group about 23% had died after the 62000 and in the age group 49 to 40 to 69 say 40 to 70 for example nearly about 52% of the cases have died and in the third age group about 70 plus about 23% of the cases have died out of the say 24000 what we made out so this is how the chronological age also is impacting the mortality in breast cancer mortality means the death rate now <clears throat> who is going to suffer from the breast cancer the statistics i am sure with uh, due respect uh, uh, would have scared you all especially the females but the this picture is not that scary picture can still be better provided we understand the pathology i mean the evolution of this disease and uh, the precautions to be taken to prevent it or even to diagnose it very early having said this 
which kind of uh, females i mean uh, women are more subject to this breast cancer you might have been aware and heard and also through various uh, sources that nulliparous that is uh, childless or uh, women and then women would suckle their babies devoid of uh, breastfeed and all that and then uh, those who have had uh, uh, hypertension and uh, overweight obesity and also family history are some of the women who are called high risk for breast cancer and uh, two factors we have definitely seen over a period of last 50 years as far as the cause of breast cancer is concerned or let me put it the high risk factors one is obesity second is strong family hereditary uh, aspect of it that means uh, it does run in families so breast cancer is one disease like so many other cancers which runs in families so a family history of breast cancer and uh, obesity are the triggering factors and uh, they ring the bell that's where one has to be cautious and uh, i'm sure all the family physicians are also were updated would suggest to their female patients about if at all they find the risk factors to be very careful having said this to be careful is nothing but to have a, a regular checkup in the form of self examination of the breast and then consulting your family doctor or even the surgeon or oncologist or a gynecologist for uh, periodical mammography and ultrasound scan of the breast which is a very simple procedure generally mammogram is advised after the age of 35 in normal individuals but in those cases where they have a strong family history uh, from the age of 26 onwards a mammogram can be done as a baseline and every 10 years it can be repeated in the normal individuals and once in every 5 years in the case of high risk individuals this is the only way to uh, diagnose the cancer early god forbid if one is developing it now the family history means not only the mother and the siblings but also the first degree relatives like grandmother and then first cousins these are all the aunt paternal aunt maternal aunts these are all the Uh, first degree relatives who also influence the genetic that provoke development of cancer so these high risk individuals as i narrated have to be careful uh, and uh, they have to be periodically screened for any development of breast cancer apart from breast cancer the genetic uh, germline mutations what we call which are inherited the germline mutations also influence a series of uh, these cancers including breast ovary endometrium and colon so there is a set of females who develop endometrial that is uterine breast and or colonic cancer unfortunately and uh, these individuals are influenced by genetic mutations which are carried forward through what we call driving mutations or driver mutations in the genetic uh, inheritance <coughs> so the acquired factors as i narrated and then uh, uh, congenital or the inherited factors as i told you are the ones which influence uh, genesis of this cancer so once somebody is at high risk as per the uh, genetic background and also the other factors regular checkup is one which influences the early outcome and also the 5 year survival 10 year survival and longevity cure rates following any kind of treatment for a breast cancer also depend on the stage as you all might be aware the earlier the stage of the cancer the better the outcome of various types of treatment that are available for breast cancer while abroad uh, like countries like states where the lot of influence uh, is generated about uh, the evolution of the disease the risk to life in the females the cure rates are as high as 90% of all the stages of all the uh, ages put together they are having about uh, 86 to 90% of five year survival 10 year survival following treatment whereas in india uh, i am afraid it's not more than 46% the five year survival 10 year survival of breast cancer outcome following various types of treatment is not more than 46% so you can see the difference that's why the emphasis is on what is called preventive aspects and also the early diagnostic aspects so because the patients are diagnosed early there abroad probably they could do more meaningful effective treatment bringing out better cure rates and a long term survival 
in the breast cancer afflicted individuals mind you one thing here breast cancer can also affect males so breast cancer can occur in males as well about um, 3 to 5 percent of all the breast cancers are seen in the men so breast cancers when suspected should be properly evaluated even in males now what are the uh, symptoms and signs of this disease mostly it is uh, what you call a lump in the breast that is a swelling in the breast which has appeared lately and which is not subsiding and uh, which is growing a little fast steadily growing let me put it that way so there is what is called tumor doubling time depending on this the lump or the cancer nodule the cancer swelling increases in size so that's why after the menses period every woman is advised say about one week after the periods are over or 10 days a self examination standing in front of the mirror and uh, palpating the uh, that's feeling the breast right breast with the left hand and left with the right hand various aspects of the breast which is being uh, educated in all family clinics and by all lady doctors to various uh, women so this is one uh, is the best example of uh, self examination and self screening that is self examination the best is the best example of self screening followed by that ultrasound modality is there which is a very simple non invasive technique and if necessary the family physician can ask you to go for mammography keeping in view the family history one has to adopt this method of screening for self preservation and breast preservation and to avoid the death rate or minimize the death rate in this in this disease now treatment modalities as most of you are aware is mostly nowadays uh, cancer all solid tumors like in any other case breast cancer also needs surgery surgery is the mainstay of treatment in breast cancer and the surgery can be of various types like breast conservation surgery or breast sacrificing surgery called mastectomy bcs is the breast conservation surgery and mastectomy means total removal of the breast also we had to operate to a small extent on the armpit on the same side the axilla because some of these cancers spread to lymph nodes in the axilla so mostly depending on the stage whether it is only confined to the breast or it has spread to the axilla or it has spread to the chest wall and also to distant organs the treatment modalities are adopted so treatment can be by means of chemotherapy first followed by surgery and then radiotherapy if necessary or it can be simple removal of the lump along with say a node in the axilla and then radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy so not only the conventional chemotherapy but also there is what is called target therapy hormonal therapy and in lay in some instances even immune therapy is being tried as part of chemo treatment of breast cancer so the surgery and chemotherapy are two different things so also radiation radiation and uh, surgery generally control the disease in the chest wall and also in the axilla whereas chemotherapy helps to nullify the cancer cells that are in circulation and have gone to various organs like brain liver um, bone and uh, lungs so these visceral and uh, skeletal metastases what we call can be controlled to a great extent by appropriate chemotherapy which includes the conventional chemo plus target therapy and all that depending on the uh, biological nature of the tumor so understanding the tumor of the breast is one which gives the clue what kind of treatment modalities have to be adopted and post treatment also every case has to be under follow up like once in every 3 months for the first year and also once in 4 months for second year for evaluation for any kind of local that is the recurrence in the breast and the axilla or in the distant sites and third year onwards once in 6 months is necessary up 5 years probably yearly annual checkup what's called is necessary to evaluate any recurrence or relapse of the disease this is it short about the breast cancer its uh, importance the magnitude of the problem the age group which are afflicted the death rates and the incidence what we have seen in these cases and uh, how to diagnose this cancer early who are the individuals who are at risk for breast cancer and uh, the various types of treatment available as of now in india to treat the uh, 
breast cancer completely completely what i mean is in the breast in the axilla and if noticed elsewhere in the body so we have discussed briefly all these issues hope this information would help most of you especially women to understand more and better the breast cancer and follow these precautionary measures keeping in view whether the woman is high risk for breast cancer or like any other so about uh, say 4000 and odd cases of breast cancer can occur in 1 crore of female population roughly speaking so now you can imagine in 1 crore female population different age groups put together about 4300 like that are the new cases found depending on this the whole statistics revolve around and of these most of the cases do come in the second or third stage that's why it is very important that we diagnose or try our best to diagnose in the first stage itself by educating the individuals who are at risk and otherwise and also doing the screening procedures whenever in doubt to catch the disease early and give better cure rates for the individuals